Hi there, this is Dina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming in my happy planner for the week of December 4th through December 10th. This week I'm going to be using a kit by Planning Roses and this kit is called her Snow Snuggles Collection. And here are your full boxes, I'll just quickly go through this. Your bottom washi and washi strips, full heart checklist or check boxes and some more appointment labels. Here's um, all your headers and some heart, you know, regular heart checklists, some flags and some icons and more appointment labels. And then this is all your sidebar and your little things. And half boxes and some little functional items and a weekend banner down here. So I'll go ahead and get started by taking my pages out as usual. So let's just pop these guys out. I wasn't going to film right now because my neighbors are being extremely loud. I always say that, but I have new neighbors and they're the loudest people on the planet. But I'm just going to ignore them and hopefully it's not too much background noise because I really want to film my video now. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom washi. And I'm not the hugest, hu I can't speak, hugest fan of this bottom washi. So I'm going to probably add some, I brought out some of this washi tape here. Oops. And it's just some gold foil bow washi. So I'm going to put the washi down first and then see if I want to add that. But let's try this side first. Um, I think I don't like it as much because it's just so black. Um, I wish it had more color in it, but I could see why she did that. It does go well with the kit, but I think I am going to add the um, little washi down here at the bottom, or the bow washi. So, let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they're so loud. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. So, um, I don't want it to go up in the box, but... I'm gonna kind of show through, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then I'm just gonna tear the edges off with my, cause I want more room in my, you know, planning spaces rather than putting the washi up there. So I'm gonna do that. I could have put it low, the bottom washi lower, but I don't want it to go all the way to the edge either. So can't have it all, right? So I put this guy down and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side with the bow washi. Try to kind of line up the bows as much as I can. Alright. Oops. Okay, I'll trim that off with the, um, whatchamacallit later. My slice, whatever it's called, exacto knife. All right, so the bottom washi's down. Um, next, I think I'll go in with, let's do our full boxes next. And I'm probably gonna use the quote up here in the quote section, so, or whatever this box up here is called. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that down first. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to stagger my boxes this week or I think I did them all straight across last week. So maybe I'll stagger them this week. And there are um, two boxes that go together and I like to use those in the weekend. So I think I'll start with those and then kind of work my way around. So I'll put those. I think I'm going to put them on the bottom though. So it kind of creates a scene in two boxes together instead of just one. I like that. I like when kits have that. It kind of makes it easier to know where, you know, to put your full boxes for the weekends. There we go. And then I'll just go ahead and stagger the rest. Um, I think I'll do the snowflakes up here. And then... I want to put this girl on this side of the page, so I'm not going to put her there. Maybe I'll put, I don't want to put the scene there either. So I'm going to put this little um, slipper, their little cute little bear slippers. 
down here. And then, let's see. I'll go. Do I want to put... I think I'm going to put her over there, but yeah. I'm going to put this up here for Wednesday. Ah, I think these are removable mat too, so they come up really easily. There we go. And then I'll pop the snowflake down here. And the other one will go up in the middle yeah that'll look cute and then it kind of spreads out the colors a little bit cute I love this kit it's so pretty all right there we go there's all our full boxes um, the next thing I want to do is decide where I'm gonna put my headers and I think I'm gonna use gold foiled headers above the um, full boxes and then I'm going to use the other headers that came with the kit these ones here for my to do section and my today section so I think I'm going to use those and then I'm going to also use the heart checklist instead of the full boxes because I want to use these in my sidebar I think she has sidebar here but I don't think I want to use those in my sidebar so where did I put my heart checklist right here. So I'm going to cut these down to three heart checklists, maybe four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll do four. And then, um, so let's try one and just kind of see how everything looks. And then I'll do that part off camera. So I am going to cut these into four heart checklists. And these are kind of easy to cut because there's no real, like, what is that called at the end? The little curve part? Oh, and I did bring out some date covers as well because I think maybe I got the mini kit or either that or you have to buy the date cover separate in her shop. I can't remember. So I brought out these gold foiled um, date covers and these are from our shop and they're just in a pink marble color. I haven't released these yet, but these will be coming to our shop. So I thought these are modern looking and they kind of go with this spread. So let's put our to-do on here. And I like how when the checklist matches the header, I like that look. And then we're going to put today down here. And I'm going to do the same color all the way down. What's that called? Color blocking. Oops. Okay, and then I'll put a foiled header on top of the box here. I love foiled headers. I think they're my favorite thing now. They're just so pretty. They add such a nice touch to any spread. Okay, and then I already did put the date dots on here. And I just used some gold foiled date dots to match these. So let's put this right here. There. I actually really like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go in and put all of the headers and the checklist and the date covers in off camera and then I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm done putting down all my headers and date covers and checklists for the week. Um, I am, I did take off that strip of washi. I didn't like it down here, so I'm just going to leave it like that. But what I think I'm going to do is put the weekend banner down in the washi. So I'm going to go ahead and do that instead. Maybe that'll add like a little something to it. So I'm just going to kind of layer it right on top here. There we go. And then I won't forget to put it down if I do it now. So next I think I'm going to go ahead and do the sidebar first. And she does have sidebar stuff but I think I'm going to use the full heart checklist instead this week and there's only one habit tracker but that's okay I can just um, keep track of my emails this week not going to have a lot of time to work out anyway so let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit and I'll start off with some washi 
and I gotta decide I think I might use the same colors and I think I'm gonna use the two pink ones for my sidebar so I'm gonna use the foil header to label it but I want to use something behind it so I kind of like this um, whatever snowflakes so I'm gonna use that actually I want to put my habit tracker at the top first so we'll put the habit tracker down and I'm just gonna line it up with this bottom line try to get straight There we go. And then I'll go in with the washi underneath and I'm gonna leave just a tiny bit of white space. And I'm gonna put one of these, actually I'm gonna use my half use sheet first. I always do that. Okay. So then I have little, um, they're little to-do headers that go inside of this and this week. So I'm gonna use one of each One's for my Etsy um, to-do list and one's for just general to-do list. So I'm gonna start with the, well, I'm gonna start with the this week first. So I'll put this down. I really like those, I think they're really pretty. And then I'm gonna put my heart checklist next under that. And then I'll do the same thing for my to-do section. And these are two little ones, but I'm still going to use them. And this week I was debating on whether to use, again, which color foil, um, whether I wanted the silver or the gold with this kit, but I don't know. I really like pink and... Um, pink and gold together. So I just decided to use the gold foiling again. <laughs> so I'll put the header in the middle. Oops. I think I tore that one. Okay. And then this one I'll use the to-do header. Oh, and these are from Rose Colored Days if I didn't say that already. Okay, and then I'm going to put my second to-do list down here. And I think I'm going to have room for a quote box. I'm going to have lots of room, actually, because I kind of, I usually space these out more, and I didn't this week. I like it better when it's spaced, but I don't want to take it all off and start over. So we'll just use um, something to separate that and then put a full box, I mean a half box for a quote. Maybe I'll use this glitter washi here. Um, I think I'm going to use the bigger one first. And I'm going to put a little bit of spacing. And then chaff box. Let's see. I kind of like the snowflakes, so I might just stick with that over here. Actually, I'll use this one. This one's cute. So I'm going to put this here, but I want to kind of see where it's going to line up first. So I know where to put this one. Oh my gosh. I think that child downstairs is like the loudest child I've ever heard. I know kids will be kids, but she takes it to a whole new level. You could hear her screaming at night until like, I don't know what time, because I usually fall asleep at night, but it's hard to fall asleep to the sound of it. All right. There, that looks really cute. I like that. So there's my sidebar. Um, let me zoom you guys out just a little bit. Oops, wrong way. And then we'll start going day by day. Um, for Monday, let's see what we got going. Oh, I need to put my work labels down first. So let's do that. I did bring out some hearts from Clever Gal Crafts. And I think I'm just going to stick with the um, gray color. It was either one of these two. So um, there's some appointment labels in here. In this kit, um, you know, there's a ton of them actually, but I'm just going to match the colors for my work labels this week. And I'm going to just put them down here like I typically do for Monday through Friday. I really like these appointment labels. 
This morning I stopped by, I was thinking of my coffee Monday, that's what makes me think of what I'm about to say, but I stopped at Starbucks after I dropped my daughter off at her friend's house and um, to get a coffee. And I went to through the drive-thru and when I went to pay, the lady's like, oh, well, the lady before you um, paid for your order, so you don't owe anything today. And I was like, really? Wow, <laughs> that's really nice. So that was like a nice, happy surprise. I've never had that happen to me before. I've done that for other people, but I've never like been on the receiving end of it. So it really does like make someone's day when people do stuff like that. I, I thought that was really sweet of her. So um, now I need to decide. I kind of like the light color, but the dark color too. Let's see. I'm gonna do the dark. These are for my work. Yeah, but I mean, something unexpected like that, that somebody does, just a nice gesture is probably one of the nicest things. I don't know. All right. There we go. Awesome, awesome. That looks so cute. I'm really liking this kit. So let's go day by day now that I have my work labels down. Um, for Monday, I want to put a little coffee sign for Monday, for Coffee Monday. There is a little coffee cup in this kit. I saw it. So I'm going to use that for Coffee Monday. It's a little bit big, but I'm going to use it anyways. Oh, and look, she's holding coffee and it's on Monday. I didn't even know I did that. So we'll just pop this guy up here. I have a sticker stuck to my finger. <laughs> And then um, the only other thing going on for Monday is I'm going to go to the gym. So I brought out some gym stickers this week. And I thought these were really cute from Cupcakes and Stickies. They're just little girls working out with a bunch of little funny expressions on their face. And I'm just going to use the little white ones with this kit. And I don't think I'm going to use any boxes or anything. Maybe I'll use, she has a bunch of these flags. Oh, you know what though? She has little things. There's a ton of little things. Let's use that for the gym. And then I'll just cover up the little icon. So I'll stick with the coloring of the box. I know I'm not gonna use that, but I'm gonna put it there. And I'm gonna do it this way. And I don't know what else is going on for Monday. This week's kind of, um, like there's a lot of things that could happen that are I'm not sure about yet, so. I'm gonna need three, so I use this one. So it's like kind of, I don't know, a lot of unexpected things might happen this week. All right, on to Tuesday. I have, um, Tuesday is my mom's birthday. I'm excited for that. Um, I'm gonna go after work and pick her up some of her favorite Chinese food because she loves it and um, we're all going to get together at her house and she likes to play games like board games and cards so that's what we're going to do on Tuesday so to mark her birthday I'm going to use a half box because it's a big deal and I think I'm going to use kind of just want to use a plain one I already have the snowflake so I'm not going to use that but I do want to decorate this box so let's use the glitter that's pretty up here and then I brought out I thought this would look cute on top to kind of make it special they're like little gold foil um, banners so I'm gonna use that and this will be for mom's birthday that's cute ah if I can get it down straight don't bend it Dina it's a little bit crooked but that's okay all right, and then I want to put a little present there. So I have these, and these are from Rose Shadow Collection, and I'm gonna use the gray color to match the kit. And I'll just put this down here. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'll just write in Mom's birthday dinner. And then um, Kylie has choir that day, and it's Etsy payday. So. For Kylie's choir, I brought out some music notes. They're here somewhere. 
Here we go. So I'm gonna use these. These are from Magic Prints Co. And they're just little music flags. So maybe I'll use a little thing or an appointment label. Let's see. I use one of these appointment boxes. I really like these. So we're gonna use the gray color again. And I'll put it right here. Cute. All right, so that'll be for her choir. And then the next thing we have is um, Etsy Payday. So I don't think there's a Payday sticker on this kit. Let's see. Oh, here's one right here. It's like kind of big. Maybe I could pop it down here. Yeah, let's just do that. That box is okay to cover up. It's not like it covers up the scene or anything. So that will be for my Etsy payday. And then on Wednesday, I have my work. I have a doctor's appointment this day. So I need to mark that. Um, I think I'll just use, i use a half box. I have a lot in this kit, so I might as well use them, right? I'm gonna use one of these polka dotty ones here. And then, I think I brought out some doctor appointment icons. Yes. So these are from Magic Prince Co. I'm just going to use one of these for my doctor appointment. And I'll put on this side because I don't like to write on that side. Okay. So that should be it for Wednesday. On to Thursday. I have work. Kylie's choir. I want to go to the gym this day. I know that's one day that I'll be able to. So let's put that down first. So I'm going to use the light gray little thing. Let's see where did I put it? Here it is. And I'll put it this way. And then I need another gym sticker. So I'm gonna keep the white ones all the same from the gym. Also, let's see what else. Kylie's choir, I need to mark that. And I'm gonna mark it the same with a little appointment label. Let's see if I have a light gray one. I'm trying to like kind of keep the colors the same as much as possible. Not like total color blocking, but it's color blocking for me. <laughs> As much as I'm going to color block. There we go. And another little music note. Put it on the side. All right. And then I also need to put that's the day that I meal plan. So maybe I'll just use, let's see, she has like a little icon for that. I think she does. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this little plate one. I like to put that up in my um, checklist, but I don't think anything else is going on that day, so I could put it down here. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Since nothing else is happening. I have the space, why not? All right, and then on to Thursday, or sorry, we did Thursday, Friday. Um, Kylie has a big Christmas show this day. So I need to mark that with something special. So I found these. This was on a sampler that I had. And I thought I would use one of these. These are from Rose Shadow Collection. It was on a freebie. And I thought maybe use the movie marquee. The yellow doesn't really match, but the pink is a little bit different pink. But I'm going to use it anyways. So we'll put that for Kylie's show. And that's at night, so I think I'm going to put it down here. Doesn't really matter, but I just think it'll look better. Cute. So that'll be for her big Christmas show. And then, oh, it's Functional Friday for our Facebook group, which is a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys know, but we have a Facebook group, and every Friday we pick, now we're up to two winners who win a free sheet of functional stickers. Um, and all you do to enter is um, answer the question, and it's just a lot of fun. So I'm going to use these. They say new releases, but I'm going to cut them off. 
I'm going to cut off the new release part and use this for functional Friday somehow. Um, I think maybe a flag or something. Let's try it. I don't know if this is going to look funny, but I'm going to try it. That right there. And then maybe these stickers just kind of coming out of the flag. That looks cute. Cool. So that's like just a bunch of little sheets of stickers. All right, and then on to Saturday. I think that's it for Friday. Let me double check. Yes, that's it. Saturday is I want to, another day that I can go to the gym. So let me grab a little thing. I need a dark gray one. Here. I'm going to put that top. And my little gym girl. I love her stickers, they're so cute. All right, and then, let's see. It's a cleaning day and a laundry day. No fun. <laughs> so, um, I usually like to have like a cleaning checklist there for my cleaning day. So maybe I will use, ooh, I know what I wanna use. I'm gonna use a half box. And I wanna use the snowflakes. I love these snowflakes pattern. And I'm gonna put it down here. And I'm gonna use one of these, three heart checklists. Inside of it, I have one left. So that'll be for my cleaning for Saturday. And I also need to do laundry that day. I know that's cleaning too but I always put that separate for some reason. I usually clean on Friday but we're going to be at Kylie's show so I'm not going to be able to do my cleaning on Friday. So I'm going to have to squeeze it in. Maybe I'll just put I'm going to put this up here. There we go. And then if that we do anything I could squeeze it in right there. Sunday um, we have Ooh, maybe I should use these in my sidebar. I wonder if they'll fit. Since I have them out, why not? I like doing this over here. Let's see if it works with her stickers. I think I have to put it a little bit higher. There we go. These are so pretty. And then I need one more for this guy. Cute, cute. Okay. All right, now we'll do Sunday, and Sunday is just basic usuals. Um, church, groceries, and filming my plan with me. So I brought out some church stickers. These are from, here we go, Little Paw Plans, and they're cute little kitties. And I picked them because they have the black, and there's just a lot of like black and gray. So I'm gonna use the big one. And I'm gonna put it up here with a quarter box or appointment label. And I'm gonna stop myself from using that one because I've already used that pattern too much even though I wanna use it again really bad. But I'm gonna use the pink instead. Up here. And then we'll just put the church, write it in there. Okay, and then we have to get groceries afterwards. Is there a grocery? I thought I saw a big grocery bag. Yes. So we'll use that to get groceries. And I think I'm just gonna lay it down because it's kind of a big sticker. There we go. And then I'm gonna fill my plan with me down here. So sometimes I do it on Saturdays, but I always just plan on doing it on Sundays because I know it for sure. But if I get extra time on Saturdays, then I'll just do it then. But this is typically the day that I fill my plan with me. So I want to use like a filming slate with this. I know there's one in here. Saw it. Here we go. So there's like this little filming slate icon. So I'm going to layer these two. Somehow. It's like that. There we go. And I think I will put something behind that. 
Maybe I'll put like a washi strip. Let's see. I kind of like this. Well, no, it's a little too much. We use this one. I'm going to put it down here in case we do something else. Give us a little bit of room. And I'll just put that right in the middle. Cute. I really like that. Okay, I think that's everything for this week. Um, I didn't use everything in this kit. There are still a few things left. So some washi and some functional. So I could use this definitely again for something else. So we'll put everything back inside the planner. And I did pull out a couple of clips for this week. There we go. And let me zoom out so I could show you guys which clips I chose. Um, here we go. So I chose this little, it's like a hot cocoa clip and this black bow clip. This is from Planning My Way. And this one is from, I can't remember the name of the shop, but I'll link it down below if you guys want to get it. I'll for sure link it. It's on the tip of my tongue right now, but I cannot think of it. And let's pop these down and I'm going to spread this out a little bit. Maybe over there. Alright, I don't know why that one's tipping back, but that's okay. Let's see. There we go. So now you can see the whole finished spread. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that sub subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.